the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verse 6. Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah. Call Halal Yamla Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakal Kodash. That's to say, all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of His Holy Son and the Holy Spirit. I like to give double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that rule and teach well. Peace, love, and blessings to the Akim, the hopeful elect, the house of David, that scattered across the four corners of the earth, preaching this truth, some that walk up to it and some that have it. To the few sincere sisters, the Akwathium, that listen and learn, to y'all I say Shalom. Last but not leastly, to the scattered abroad Israelites that scattered abroad, the four corners of the earth that might be scattered and looking like the heathen nations where they scattered to, but your forefather go back to Abraham, back to Isaac, and back to Jacob. To y'all, Shalom. And uh, I'm just going to win today on it's time to quit playing, man. It's time to come back to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, before the evil day, which is bad times come, man. It's only getting worse and worse and worse, man. It's not about to get better. It's about to get, be more and more hell put on you tribes. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians. Now here in Cleveland, Ohio, they done lifted the ban. So it's, so it's no ban. It's no time. You feel me? We not on lockdown anymore. But that's just to put the wood all these people heads, man, to make them have a false sense like things is going back to normal. Then all out of the blue, it's going to be all out hell, all out chaos, man. So while we got time and liberty to serve Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, and build up some more dollars in a spiritual bank account, man, you might as well. But this is Isaiah 55 and 6. It says, Seek thee the Lord. And when you seek something, man, you don't stop looking after you don't find it. Just say you dropped your diamond ring in a drawer with socks. You don't just look and say, oh, I don't see my ring and you know it's there. No, you seek it until you find it. And that's what Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah wants us to do. Give a diligent search for him and his ways to find out what's pleasing to him and what's not pleasing to him. It says, seek ye the Lord, Yahweh, while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. So this is insinuating it's going to be a time when he's not going to be found, when he's not going to be near. When you read the first book of Proverbs down towards the end, it say, when you, when you, hold on, let me just get it so I won't butcher it. Prove all things, right? Back to the basics. 124, it says, because I have called and ye refuse. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. How is he stretching out his hand? How is he calling? By the way of putting man out here to teach his word so they can teach other mans to gather fruit. But ye have set at naught all my counsels and with none of my reproof. They wouldn't want nothing to do with the Lord. They put away the shoulder. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as a desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When, dis when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then will they call upon me. When you're going through your hell. You feel me? When all our hell break loose, then it's going to be, oh, God, oh, Lord. But I would not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me because you waited too long to seek. 
You're supposed to seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Before the evil day draw nigh, man. It says, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord. That's how you know he's talking about our people. Because our people are the only ones that can turn back to the Lord. Because our people are the only ones that was a part of this in the first place. And he will have mercy upon thee. When you read the book of Romans, it tell you he going to have mercy on Jacob. I mean, when you read the book of Isaiah, the 14th chapter, starting at the top. It says, and he will have mercy on him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. That's only if you turn back to him, man. Huh? Seek him while he may be found. Before the evil does draw near. Daniel 12 and 1. It says, and, and at that time, at what time? The time when all our hell break loose. When this mother against mother, father against father, brother against brother, city against city, kingdom against kingdom, famines, race wars, food shortages, it's all out hell. It says, and the great prince, and at that time shall Michael stand up, Michael the archangel, the great prince which standeth for, thy, for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble. This is why you're supposed to call upon the Lord before this time of trouble comes. So you can already have money in your spiritual bank account. You don't wait until the last day to try to go put money in the bank to pay a bill. No, you already have it there. It says, The great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation. Even at that same time, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Every one that shall be found written in the book. So it's a time coming, man, like never before. Like never before. It's going to get so bad, the archangel Michael going to have to step in and intervene, man. You can't put the Lord off and say, oh, I'm going to do it on my time when I get ready. Oh, well, today ain't a good day, so I'm going to wait until next week. Uh, I'm going to start reading my Bible. No, you don't do that. You don't know when your last day is. This is Ecclesiasticus chapter 5, verse 7. It says, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. Men quit bullshitting. And put not off from day to day. You can't put the Lord off. Well, it's Friday, but Sunday, you say, I'm going to open up the book and read Monday. It didn't happen. So, oh, I'm going to do it Tuesday. It didn't happen. So, I'm going to do it Wednesday. And so on and so forth. You can't do the Lord like that. It says, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. All of a sudden, out of nowhere. And in thy security, in thy security, when you think you safe and secure, you at the house chilling, catch a straight bullet. You sitting at the red light. Somebody run into your car. Somebody run up and rob you or jack you or something. Ain't no telling what the Lord got prepared for you, man, when you don't listen, when you not obedient. We talking about the the Lord of Terror, man. We talking about the same God that flooded the earth and only left eight people, man. Come on, man. You don't want to play with that omnipotent, all powerful Yahweh. We ain't talking about a white boy named Jesus Christ. We talking about the black, the so called black God Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah. Alasaja, demon like power. It says, and in thy security, when you think you're safe, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Because the day of vengeance is burning in the Lord's heart, man. These people crucify our 
Lord and Savior, a just, perfect man. And you think he not waiting? He can't wait to come back and pay people black, man. For all the wrong, for all the unjust that they did to our Lord and Savior. Not only that, all the blasphemy, all the things, all the atrocities that they's done to the Lord's people, man. That's like if you is a big brother and you got little brothers and sisters and you in jail and while you going away, yo, enemies just beating the shit out your brothers and sisters and killing them off and just having that way with them. You can't wait to get out. Yahweh Shah can't wait to come back and pay these people, man, according to the things that they done to his chosen, man. So with that, man, I hope that was edifying, man. Don't wait till it's too late, man. Shalom.